Welcome back to another awesome video. Today we're talking about WordPress. What's WordPress, you ask? WordPress is a website that actually builds other websites. Uh, it's a very popular uh, website builder, building website. They say that one in five websites out there are actually now made through WordPress. Um, if you've done your Google uh, site assignments already, it, it's like that, but on steroids. It's very powerful, can do lots and lots of things. Uh, anyway, so some websites that are made through WordPress, our very own Millard uh, School District page, our uh, Millard High School page is used by WordPress. And then I just uh, found this. This is 25... Uh, notable websites that are all used by WordPress. Okay, I don't really recognize any of these myself. But uh, anyway, it's used by, by very, very big companies. Um, and so it's it's used all over the place. Very, very important. Uh, kind of going on a limb. I actually haven't tested this, but uh, always fun to test things while you're on camera. Uh, let's do WordPress. Backend web, backend web developer, WordPress, WordPress developer, junior developer, WordPress, WordPress content coordinator, WordPress developer. Oof, it worked. I was kind of right already in the jobs. But yeah, this is a job skill that if you got really good at it, um, well, this is even a remote one. So you could live wherever you wanted to live and work for this company. Anyway, so yeah, this is a very, very important skill, very widely used. That's why we're learning it. Moving on. So, if you haven't set up an account yet, that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to go right up here to get started or sign up. It might look different depending on how old this video is. Uh, so, we should kind of find the screen looking like this. Let's get started. First, create your WordPress.com account. Okay, so you're just going to put in an email address. Um, I would recommend using a personal email address uh just because you that way you'd always have access to it if you use your school email account as soon as you graduate from high school then you would lose access to this account so let's go and use a personal one um, i am actually going to use my school account because i don't anyway moving on then you just want to use a username i'm just going to see if it's going to let me use that uh how it exists here we go caleb swall three choose a password I'm not going to tell you my password Thought I would, but I'm not. Password is too easy to guess. Oh, wait, or you can just do the continue with Google. Should have thought that earlier. If you're logged into your personal account, then you can for sure do that. Or that's how you create an account. Okay, moving on. Okay, next thing, uh, let's get your site a domain. Your domain is this middle part, okay? So every most websites have this part, and everybody's got an end of some kind. It's this middle section that's unique, okay? There's no other websites that has this exact domain name, okay? They might have some a little bit different, but can't have this exact one, okay? That's for that's for us, okay? It's this, this is the same, but then this at the end is a little bit different. WordPress, nobody else can have a, a website named at d.com. So that's kind of what we're choosing, okay? So you, um, for your first website, I really don't care what your topic is. You can literally do it on pizza, or you could do it on your favorite superhero, or you can do it on your on yourself, or the history of monkeys. I don't know, just whatever you want to choose it on. You can change it later. Uh, but for this one, you, just, you can just do whatever you want. So let's just do Superman. I always use him. I don't know what to do. So we can do Superman, and then we want to look for the free option. There's definitely so I can get my Superman.org, Superman.site, Superman.me for money. Okay, we don't. Don't want to need to pay money, but there is an option if you want to build an awesome website and you have money you want to throw into this. That's, that's completely fine. So there's lots of other Superman web press, web, WordPress websites out there. So that is the one it's recommending for me. I'm going to go and select that one. Then again, there's some more bonus features. I don't want to give a commercial for WordPress, but if you want these advanced features, then by all means, feel free to spend money. But this is not required for this course. Then I'm just going to start a free site. Takes a minute to load. And we're back. Okay, so now this is what's called your dashboard. Uh, this is where we start editing our site. Okay, there's lots of different ways to do it. I'm just going to show you a few basic things, and then as you can you watch my videos or can you watch, be in class, then you will learn more about it. Okay, 
Uh, so there's, you can go over here and kind of go through these steps. Um, that's one way to do it. Uh, I click on get started. I personally, this is how I do it. So I go over here to design over here on the left. And the first thing I want to choose is my theme. Your theme is your overall look of your website. Okay, so right here we'll see lots of different themes. Uh, okay, you see me best. Anyway, lots of different themes. Um, and don't look at the pictures, don't look at the text. You can change those, but look at how it's laid out. How, how are the pictures organized? How does it flow? Like this one has lots of pictures. So if you're looking for a website that has lots of pictures, that's a great one because it already has them in a nice layout. Or if you kind of like having a big picture and a little bit of text to welcome people to your websites, um, just look. don't look at the pictures or the colors or anything. You can change all that, but what what you're really getting is is how it's laid out okay uh, so let's just let's go ahead and do this one so you can click on it and you can it would sh it shows you a little bit more how it's gonna flow and things and once you you can feel free to pause the video if you want to go around and look for one once you do find one you just click right here activate this design for free and then I want to do uh, activate whatever one you chose Thanks for choosing Bronson by Automatic uh, Edit Homepage. We are next step. Once you get to this stage, um, you really just start editing it, the web page to be what you want it to be. Okay, and it's really not that complex. Uh, WordPress. You can feel free to do this tour if you want to. Go and pause the video and do the tour. It might do things differently than I do, or do better or worse than me. I'm going to skip it because I already know a lot about it. So you start going through. This is a website about Superman, so I'm just going to put Superman right here. Uh, just uh, Superman is the best. Okay, you just you just really start editing it, and once you click on it, you can always. So this is in its own kind of world, its own box. So I can control. I can make it smaller or bigger. I can center align it, left align it, uh, full width. There's lots lots of different things. You can make it make sure. It's bolded uh, or, you can, or to get a lot more control you click on these three little dots and do show more settings this way you can you can have a lot more control now it's super small see I just I didn't mean to do that don't know why it does that so I can make it as big as I want to do I can even just type in 100 so you're just getting some very basic even text I think if you have any experience in Word Word uh, Microsoft Word Google Google Docs um, right here, you can change the color to really whatever color you want. Uh, you don't want to change colors. Gets um, for this first one, don't worry too much about colors, but you do want to kind of keep the colors similar, and um, you don't want to have a million colors on your website. That's all I'll say right now. You can always choose, also choose a background color. Uh, anyway, so you can always you can do a lot of things. Let's see if we can find a picture. No picture, lovely. So if you ever want to add something that's not there, first you got to find these little plus buttons. Okay. Once you find a plus button, you can add different kinds of blocks. You can add a paragraph if you just want to type some more. Um, you can always add a block by up here to. Uh, if you can just search, I want to put in a picture of Superman. Okay, a picture or an image. Uh, you can upload. You can select image from your media library, from your Google Photos, if you have that linked, or this is usually what I use, Pexels. It's just a, a bunch of free uh, pictures that they've made available to you. So I'm just going to type in Superman, and then you can just choose, yeah, sure, select, and it's going to put that picture, make it look nice, and you can change it a little bit. Anyway, this video is getting long. Um, I'll have more videos kind of get you into it, but at least this got you started and got your first website up off the ground. Up here at the top, you can preview, kind of see what it's really going to look like in live mode. Um, yeah, and welcome to WordPress. And uh, once you've made this website a little bit better, this is the end of your assignment. This will just get you started, make it look nice, add some things, we'll add some pages in a different video. But this video is getting long, so I'll let you go. Make your decisions, and you are awesome.